Hi and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor and in this section we're going to talk about combinations of functions. So up until now we've talked about functions. You know what a function is. It's just a, a, a mathematical box that takes inputs and changes them into outputs and you can graph them and you can translate them and you can stretch them and shrink them and all that. And in this section we're going to talk about the uh, combinations of uh, functions. You can have two functions and you can actually add them together. You can subtract functions, you can multiply them, you can divide functions. Functions are just uh, mathematical uh, you know, things in your toolbox. You can do all the operations to them that you can do to anything else. And so this is exactly what that's going to get across here today. So you can combine functions in the following ways. You can have the sum of two functions and that would be like f of x plus g of x. If these are two functions, you can add them together and you can arrive at a, the sum of those functions and that would be a, a new function. Okay, you have the difference of two functions. You can have a function uh, and you can subtract off another function from it and that, that gives you yet another function that you can plot. You do have the product. Okay, so you can have f of x times g of x. Okay, and you can have the quotient. Okay, so you can have f of x divided by g of x. So there's, there's nothing magical here. This section is basically going to have a bunch of problems that have you do this and get some practice with it. So for the, fo for the following problems, we're going to find f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f over g, and we're also going to find out what the domain of the function is. A lot of problems will ask you to find these combinations of functions and also tell me what the domain is, so we're going to do that here. Okay? And uh, so for the first problem, uh, f of x uh, is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 3, and g of x is x plus 1. So I need to find all of these things. Okay, so how do I do that? Let me switch colors a little bit here just to mix it up. Okay, so f plus g is just going to be equal to exactly what you think here. You just add them together. There's, there's nothing magical about it. So you have 2x squared minus x minus 3. That's this function. Okay, and we're going to add to it x plus 1 plus x plus 1. So f plus g would then be, if we just simplify this, 2x squared. And you have minus x plus x, which goes away, so it gives you 0. Okay, And then you have minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2. So it's 2x squared minus 2. That is what the function, the composite function f plus g looks like. Now what's the domain of this function here? Uh, this domain of this function that we just found is from negative infinity to positive infinity because I can put any value of x in here and it's totally legal to do that and that's what the domain is what values of x can you put in there okay now let's try to find f minus g okay f minus g what would that be equal to so just take f and we subtract g from it so it's 2x squared minus x minus 3 minus uh, and then we're going to subtract off so this is the first function Okay, and we're going to subtract off x plus 1. Okay, 